5 laps at Freddy's safety car video of how to play. Controls on a controller, okay. I don't think there's anything we didn't know. Jump is something I now know. Controls on a keyboard, there we go. We will be using controller. Foxy was that? Battery usage. Boosters, charging items, and collisions use up battery power. Okay, yeah. So that is the battery. That's why the guy was killing me, because I kept using up my battery last time. I never really had any charge left. Right, someone exploded. Charging items. Every item can be charged before used by holding down a use item button before releasing. Right. So I think that was the switch item button. Yeah, bomb bikes charged. Interesting. Additionally, holding down the jump button before release will give you a higher leap. I mean, now we know that we can jump, I guess we can do that. Yeah, there we go. Behind the wheel, drifting can recharge your battery. Drifting correctly and long enough and you'll get speed boost. Yeah, we knew about drifting. Very much so, don't press brake in this game. After midnight, the endo appears and targets the cart with the least battery. Players can defeat the endo using offensive items. Yes, we can hit the endo and that is a... Like a health bar at the top. Happy racing, that's all you need to know. Have fun and happy racing once again. So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fabward and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. This ladies and gentlemen is going to be the return of FLAF or Five Laps at Freddy's because people have found a decent amount of secrets in this game and now I kind of know what I'm actually doing. I know how to deal with the endo and stuff like that. So let's play as the puppet. I've watched a few streams of people playing this game. Let's go into the Midnight Motor Car as well. Start with Fazbear Hills. I don't believe there's anything actually in Fazbear Hills. I've already forgotten to show something. I have to remember to show that. Another time, apparently on the garage door you can actually see an outline of Old Man Consequences, which is quite cool. But yeah, let's play this one. Just for now, I don't believe there is actually any secrets here. What's the balance? Okay, LB is the drift. Right, and then with the battery you see in the bottom right, that can't run out unless the endo gets us. Or the endo will get us if the battery runs out. How do I charge the item? That's jump. Interesting. Jump is that button, okay. Charging item is what? I don't freaking know. Oh, exotic butters, why? Why are you there? Right, but I now know how to jump, which is very nice. Yeah, we can see in the bottom right as well, we have like an orange bar of power. I think that's just our... Like that increases our speed, I think. And then we also have these, which is just normal, like our battery goes up quicker i think i can't exactly remember what they are but i kind of want to max these out each time and try and see if i can get just a first place so the endo shouldn't be a problem i do want to see if i can actually take out the endo as well just see if i can do i should have jumped right interesting i press freaking y instead see if we can take out the endo as well but uh, the endo's not coming for me yep there he is awesome let's just use this item then yeah because we have this See if we can possibly hit the endo with this. We got him? That must have been getting him, right? No, he's got full health. Wonderful. So you need to... I don't know how you're meant to be able to do that then. Right, we got two mirrors. Let's get rid of one of them. We don't really need both of them. Almost maxed out. There we go. Maxed out on the orange battery. See if we can max out on the blue battery as well. Oh, we might be able to hit. There we go. Maxed out on both the batteries, yeah. So actually, no, the blue battery extends the amount of power that we have, I see. What is this? Oh, is it just a bomb that we've got? Okay. What is the button to charge items, then? Drift, review, turbo, use item, switch, select item, direction. I... okay, goodbye. I don't know what the freaking thing is to charge items yet. So we got a magnet now because all of our stuff is maxed. I don't necessarily know why. Oh wait, no, isn't it? Hold down the use, light, use button. Yeah, there we go. Now this is fully charged. Oh, I accidentally used it, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I have to hold it down and then I just have to use it after. Okay. I don't have that much. My power's... Go why is my power going down? My power's going down. Okay, I need to be drifting because I think that gives my power back. Thank you very much. I need to not run out of power. Or at least if the endo is going to be getting me. 
then I can try... This gives me power. I need this. Thank you very much. See if I can just use the... That was a building there. What the hell? See if I can use this mirror. Okay, switch items. Charge this up. I can't... No, I can. Never mind. Oh, he's not going to get me. Right, we're fine. Day shift. Let's go. I don't want to get caught by the end of it all because it just means I'm not doing particularly great. Let's charge this item as well. The mirror. Does it just last a bit longer? I guess it does, yeah. Right, now we can charge this one. I can hold down B to then use it right here. There we go. And we smashed it. Awesome. Not getting hit by the end though, we had all of the two battery things fully charged. And we absolutely smashed that again. Yeah, five and five, you can see there. That's what I want to do. I want to not get caught. I'm playing again, apparently. I want to, for this episode, not get caught by the endo at all. Hopefully, potentially, actually kill the endo. And then make sure we have both the battery things fully maxed out as well. And hopefully get first place. It doesn't really matter too much that we get first place. Let's do this again. Midnight Motorist go into... Let's do the sinkhole first, because Midnight Motorist is where literally pretty much, again, I forgot to show freaking Oh Man Consequences, Jesus Christ, I guess I'm going to have to do it at the end. I do have a list of stuff I want to show, so I will definitely show all of it by the end of the video. I don't know if that necessarily is me getting the thing, so a lot of people are having problems with this lap bib. It's actually quite easy in my opinion, because all of the guys seem to get stuck. So I haven't had anything like glitching out of bounds or anything like that. Yeah, they all seem to get stuck there. And then it's just very easy to win. Let me keep the items though. I want to pretty much use all of the items for the endo. And actually, I guess the only thing I can show in here, there might have been a shortcut in the last map. Not entirely sure. I want to show off all the shortcuts because we can go over here. Jump. There we go. Nice. So we have been over here, but I didn't realize you can turn left there. And that's how you normally get to that really cool looking bit there. So I might just... Once I'm done with actually racing and playing through the game, I might have a bit of a look around. I did watch, if you guys know a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer slash YouTuber called Astral Spiff, they did, because this is an Unreal Engine game, it's weird that Clip Team's making a Unreal Engine game, but no complaints because this game's awesome in my opinion. This is really cool. Definitely looking forward to the full release. Definitely be there to play it and absolutely 100% it. But yeah, that means that they could use like a camera to look around the map. And they found some really cool stuff. Or one particular thing out of bounds. There's exotic butters. All the guys over here, okay. Maybe I can possibly... I think if he goes, then you can't. Nah, he's gone. Oh, but I hit someone. Okay, there we go. Hit someone with it. I have no... Okay, I wanted to try and get that to max out the orange bar. Get this. Thank you. Yeah, because as soon as I get one of them, it maxes out my battery. But my battery's still only at 100%. Okay, it's going to be quite difficult, I imagine, to get the correct orientation to just be behind the endo to be able to actually kill them. My nose is itching. Oh, we still need one more orange bar. One more orange thing, whatever it's called. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. So just randomly over time, it gives me, I guess, just like a 10% boost. Or actually, yeah, a 10% boost of battery, depending on how much of the blue battery charge magnet item thing I have. Bonnie, you're stuck there. Awesome. It's quite good that a lot of them get stuck. Yeah, because I'm easily, very decently into first place here. Right, let's just use a... Let's use an exotic butters and charge it. Okay, that went behind me. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually way bigger. Fair enough. I think you can, you can go left there as well, actually. Yeah, I definitely need to show that off. The endo might actually... Hopefully not. But the endo might go for me. Let's go over this way. I haven't actually been over this way at all, nor have I seen anyone go over that way. Not that it's particularly that different. Okay, the endo might actually be in a good place now. If all of the racers are mainly stuck there, then we might have a chance to be able to actually attack him. But yeah, as you can see, if you have a decent amount of... Here we go. I think this is a new way now. If you have a decent amount of the battery... The battery's going down now, but there we go. Now I think it's the day shift, so we must be... Uh, our battery's gone full. In the night shift, your battery just randomly depletes. I don't know why I didn't realise that was the battery, because it's a, it's a Five Nights at Freddy's official game. Of course, there's something to do with, like, battery when you run out of power, then bad things happen. Oh, there's only one person stuck there this time. Right, there's one more shortcut that I haven't showed off in the video yet. Is it here? Yes, right here. Here we go. You can go up this way. Here we go. 
No one could actually find that until Spiff did his stream where he looked through... Let's go this way, because I haven't been this way in this video yet. Where he did his stream where he looked at the map like in Fulbright and everything and actually found that. Because it is fairly difficult to see in like the normal brightness mode of the game. Okay, lap 4 of 5. Are we still going? We're still going this way. I think the right, yeah, so they change. Depending on what lap it is or I think how long it is maybe or how many people have passed the lap. That change is like the way you need to go. So next time, hello. Next time we're going to have to go another way. I haven't even seen, like I've seen the endo once in view. Really strange. That really sounded like a Mario Kart sound effect then. Getting into the last lap. But yeah, like the, the soundtrack in this game is awesome though. Oh, I don't have my blue bar maxed out. Definitely need that. Oh, I do actually need it because, oh no, it's a day shift now. But my power was running out quite a bit then. I might actually, because I'm easily in first place, when I see a blue, which I think we got one here, is there more over that way as well? I forget. Do you get more down here? Because I need one more. No, I don't think you do. It might be worth just turning around and then seeing if I can get this one again. It doesn't really matter at all. It would just be nice to finish the laps and then it says that I had like five of each of them. Yeah, here we go. Turn around, just grab this one. Then I guess we can go the shortcut way. Good, it didn't freaking glitch out and do weird stuff. Right, okay, what the hell is going on? If you're decently in the first place, then I guess you can just do that. Stop there and just max out all of your stuff. This is actually better to go up this way because there's a power here. So there we go. Even though my power is being decreased, we are fine. Then maybe after this I could even try and start boosting a bit. Yeah, so the people saying that they're having problems with this is a bit unfortunate because this is very easy. Like, it, I think it's an easy map. People are just saying it's bad because there's a lot of times it just breaks. Like, even that, I don't really have much problems with that camera angle like that. It's weird, like, all the games that people are say that people usually say, like, Security Breach, a lot of the Hello Neighbor games, this game that people are saying, oh, it's really broken, we don't like it, I don't have problems with. And then the games that everyone's like, oh, yeah, this is great, they're the games I have problems with. It's really weird, I'm, like, the complete opposite to everyone. Like, I have literally no problems with this game running well and stuff like that. So that is two-thirds of the game done. Let's go. I'm not switching cars, I want this car. Now we go into midnight. No, we don't. I show this first. See that? That's Old Man Consequences on there. I will pause at some point to show you that's the first thing. And now, right, now we go into this one. There's three or two really cool things to show off here. One that's probably going to take, or two that's probably going to take a decent amount of time. But I'll just do the normal race first and hopefully we can kill the guy. But yeah, there's two really cool secrets here. Well, let's go. Awesome, Balloon Boy failed, right? Three of them immediately went off the... No, all, all of them are. The AI is not particularly the greatest here, but this is... I mean, it's a demo, but it's more like an alpha, beta type build, right? I don't know why it can be both of them. It definitely can't, but you know. A decent amount of shortcuts here as well that I kind of want to showcase. But also, there's no one there, right? Audience, here we go. Audience members. Oh, I think it only shows when it's nighttime. But the audience members, I think it must be only in night time. They have like all of the Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, Foxy masks on. Like the FNAF 3 masks, which is really cool. Definitely want to showcase that. Something here that I want to showcase as well that I think most people have seen by now. It's going to take a while to try and get this, yeah. I think I'm going to first of all just focus on getting this done. Like getting the, the laps done and getting all of the power stuff. See if we can... Oh, take the shortcut. Okay, we... No, we probably can't. Right? Endo is going to get me. Oh, fantastic. This map is a thousand times harder to get first place on than the other map, the sinkhole. Like, I can get first place on both of them maps probably like a thousand times in a row. I don't know why I was holding freaking Accelerate there, which is why I actually failed. Oh, well. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. I just need to get first place with both of my batteries full. Then I guess I can just set better times as well so there is like a lot of replay value already like you can try and just set the absolute world record times i don't know what the world record times are maybe just a cool thing to have a look at try and get both of no i couldn't get that one get the blue one here there we go try and keep them relatively the same don't have like a max out one and then one or two on the other one right kind of need to get better at this section though so this is quite difficult there we go 
But if I stay on this one, okay, this has all of the blues. So let's just get all the blues for now. Even though I said I don't want, like, blue to be maxed out and then orange had freaking nothing. Twin, switch over and locate. Brilliant. Rob, I got one of the oranges back anyway. Okay, go now. There we go. Okay, we got through it. We're first place, so that's fine. Not looking great on the batteries, though. There's not too many batteries that you can really get here. Okay, no, there's three or four of the blues in a row here. Three of them there. There we go. Miss the thing to get power. And it's only 2 a.m. actually, yeah, so we might not be great with the power. It might go quite low. Well, oh, it's 4 a.m. I didn't even see it turn to 3 a.m. So actually, yeah, it goes quite quickly, so we should be all right. There is one miniature shortcut somewhere here. I just forget exactly where it is. We need to try and get these two, even if we... Okay, brilliant. You see that I just stopped moving then. Oh, I'm maxed out on blue. Okay, so just need focus on orange. Not particularly something I wanted to happen, but oh well. Yeah, two of them are stuck there. That's quite good. All right, we're second place now. Not too bothered about that, about the placement. That's just probably going to happen at some point. Brilliant. Okay, fantastic. Great. And then they freaking took all of them. Brilliant news. Then they're going to take all of these as well. They're not going to take the oranges. So let me see. Okay, no, they took two of the three oranges. Please don't take these ones. Oh my god. Right. Okay, we did it. Awesome. Orange is maxed out. And then we just need two more blue, which actually I think there's three blues down here. So we should be fine. We are in second place though, so I might have to wait for them to respawn. Yep. Just going to sit here and wait for them to respawn. That is fine. There we go. Doesn't take too long. Right, maxed out. Okay. As long as we don't get hit anymore, which we do need to go through Midnight Motors twice and more. Until we go and get all of the secret stuff, we should be fine. I do want to kill this Endo. Just, I don't know how hard it's going to be with, like, RNG and stuff. Because with these two big secrets, I can just stay there until it's done. I can't really do that with the freaking guy, the Endo. Like, I just have to wait until he spawns again. There we go, the day shift. Might even just use a bit of my... Oh, no, I am first place, never mind. I thought I was still second. I guess second place might be stuck as well, so we might be completely fine. Run out of power. But that's fine, because we should be getting power back any second now, because we've got both the other things maxed out. Or not. Never mind. Oh, okay. Power would have been got there. How am I going up power really, really slowly? What the hell? I thought it would have been quite fast if I had both the things maxed out, because that's quite difficult to do. Right, okay. Well, this is brilliant. I'm going to get hit by the freaking endo. What the hell? Okay, I need an absolute miracle here to not be here. Where's the next power bar thing? I don't think it's anywhere. Unless he's not going for me? I mean, there's another power bar thing here. Yeah, he's going to get me. That's annoying. That's very annoying. What the hell? And then I just lose everything. But I can get them back here, I guess. I think they all just drop. Okay, no. Right, this is horrible. But actually, we still have one more lap left. So this is relatively okay still a bit annoying though just get rid of the items so we can see what else we can get get you there we are yeah actually not too bad because i didn't get hit that long ago and then we're already up to this amount of the batteries which is fine i know all the oranges seem to be around this section where juniors are one orange there i'm just gonna wait for this one to respawn and then we got a max there we go very nice and then we can actually use this cupcake to maybe get through here nice and nicely. Thank you, and go. That did loads. Oh, hello, buddy. Be good if I could have something to throw at you now, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be amazing? Might have been able to actually kill you if I had something. You need to hit him three times, though. How the hell do you hit him three times if you're only allowed two items? And I've been very lucky with... Midnight Motorist. Let's go. 612. Is that good? No idea. Don't even know if I actually beat my score with anything. Did I? Actually, I'm probably not going to be able to tell. 612. That was the best on that one. 517. 322. No idea. Let's go back into Midnight Motorist because we have... Yes, the audience as well. Forgot about the audience. Right, okay. So I guess first, we'll wait at the audience until it turns nighttime. 
There's also one other thing I didn't write down that I don't know is necessarily something. I just want to see if it actually is. Let me see if I can find where these shortcuts are as well. Maybe let's do that first then. Maybe for the first lap. It's right here, I think. Yeah, this one. There's a shortcut here. Oh, that's where a few of them get caught as well. And there's like bushes that you can jump across. There we go. That's the first shortcut, I believe. And then these guys, I believe... I don't think you can hit these guys or anything. But when it turns to night time, which is just pretty much now, 5pm, one more... They have masks on. Here we go. They have the FNAF 3 masks. There we go. FNAF 3 Happiest Day masks. Very cool attention to detail. And then juniors as well. No one's really looked at juniors that much. Can I go here? Oh, there's an invisible wall. Okay. It says juniors, we are open. They're not really anything else. Yeah. Oh, I might just get caught by the freaking... No, he doesn't get... He doesn't catch you unless you're fully out of power. Yeah. I think that's the thing. So then you just get the batteries to make sure you don't run out of power. Right, there's something here though, which says that you need to jump out of bounds. Jump on one of these cars and get out of bounds and then something very cool happens. I really do want to get this myself, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It'll be nice. Where the hell? Okay. Right, I'm down here now. I wanted to check this out. If you turn around underneath the bridge and then go back over this way, because this is new, you can't. Never mind, that's not something in the game. You can't go back underneath the bridge. Okay. Right, so I failed on that one. I need to go back to there. Is it here? There we go. The dirt mound. I forget what the dirt mound is. I think it's something to do with where Old Man Consequences usually is. But I know you can actually get over to the dirt mound. And underneath, on screen now, this is what it shows when you clip out of bounds. But I know some people have actually managed to get over there in the game, like touch onto the dirt mound, and that is what I want to try. So what we need is a cupcake, I guess. There we go. Thank you very much. The game freaking heard me. And I guess I'll get some more of the battery stuff. Just try and max out the battery stuff again to make it the easiest possible. Can I get some battery, please? This is like maxed out now. The freaking, well, almost anyway. It's maxed out game. Give me some battery, please. No, or I'm gonna get freaking caught then. Or I might, oh, I think I'm gonna be all right actually. Yeah, just about all right. And then it's gonna reset the power. Thank you. And it's not going to reset the power. I'm at freaking 51. I don't know why. Oh my god, it's now the freaking night shift again. So I'm going to be losing. Okay, and you've just taken all of these. So I need to wait. No, wait. What the hell are you doing? Right, okay, you dropped one. That's good. Oh, you dropped a few of them, I guess, because you got hit. That's fine, because then I can get boost here. Can I stay on this, actually? Wait. Can I go back on it again? I can. Oh, amazing. Let's go. He's not going to get me. I've got infinite power. I would like one more orange, though. If someone can get caught here, that would be amazing. Or is it? It's right here. Here we go. Oh, don't. You don't. Okay. That's fine. Right. And how far away can I be? About here? Okay, then we charge this. I did it! I got onto it! Let's go! I don't think anything happens, but I just wanted to actually land on the dirt mountain because I know that's relatively difficult. I didn't do it actually as perfectly as I'd wanted to because I didn't hold down jump well enough, so I can probably do it a bit better than that. A refund purchase is currently pending. Thank you, Steam. Much appreciated. Don't really care about that right now, though. Kind of playing a game at the moment. I just need to get launched by a car in, like, a very specific way. Which is not going to be the most fun thing in the universe. I thought that maybe, I guess, just always on the left, I could try and land somewhat on the railing. Don't do it, cheeky. Not right at, not right at the end. Thank you. Jesus. 326 and I was fourth. That's... Four seconds slower than I than like my PB. First and second beat my PB. That's insane. Either way, actually another 40 minutes. I played for pretty much exactly 40 minutes last time. That's 40 minutes again. I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. And now.
I don't want to play anymore. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to end episode number two and all of the current known secrets in Five Laps at Freddy's. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to watch yourself. But for now, hopefully you enjoyed. Please invite you to subscribe for our brand new Mr. The Boy Boss Firewood. Thank you, of course, always. Peace. Thank you.